Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Uranium. Um, now off screen, everyone is now level 60, and um, Sasha evolved to her final form. This is what it looks like. That is pretty ridiculous. Um, the only thing I'm not a fan of is that she loses um, Scrappy for Levitate, which is perfectly fine because I do have a lot of characters that are weak to um, that are weak to ground as well. Actually, four of them are. Yeah. So this is pretty much just an all around like resist. Pretty pretty good. So now I have something that's that's finally immune to both ground and um, and fighting moves, which is pretty sweet. Okay. Um, I forgot. I think I did you first last time. I remember I had trouble with this fight. It's been a little while since I recorded, but um, my problem was that um, you had to fight these two back to back without actually healing. I actually brought some. I actually bought some more healing items off screen as well. So first and foremost, um, what I want to do first is set up stealth rocks as usual, and I'm. This is somehow faster, I don't know how. Yeah, okay, Solar Beam, that's a one-hit kill. The d this is the dangerous thing about Flareon. I somehow live that, I don't know how, but... I might as well take advantage of it. Go ahead and use that Ancient Power. I know that can't miss. Oh! That didn't even go critical! Wow, that is 60 power. Huh. Get a bit of health back for that too. Um, Coatlith. I think this is a um a dragon. Let's go to my own dragon. Yep. Hmm. I will be faster in the next turn, though, because of speed boost. Or I could one-shot him, that's fine, too. <clears throat> Alright, what's next? I might just stay in, because I have double speed now. Jelen. Oh, this thing. Uh, it's a grass and electric type. I'll just go for this. It might have static, though. Nope. Okay, that's not going to do too much. Oh, uh-oh. Huh? What was that about? Huh. I'm assuming that might power him up, but it damages him every turn. That's interesting. I have Iron Head. I can do this one. K9000 is pretty useless right now anyway because of, you know, parallel... Ooh, okay. I might as well go all in is basically what I'm saying. And you are the Mega Evolution. I think I actually have seen this. Yeah, this one actually looks kind of cool. And I'm not faster. That's really not good. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to rely on special moves in order to do this. <clears throat> I thought or a solid poison attack, which I know I have access to. That's as more than I thought it would, actually. Hmm. What? Dude, that's the best attack animation ever. That was ridiculous. Okay, that was kind of funny. If I can stall a turn, I could probably set up a full restore on K9000 to get him back. I think I did buy a few, um, I almost said bought him online. I think I almost, uh, I think I actually bought a few off screen. Okay, so now without healing, I have to go straight into your fight.
Kaido. I should outspeed Umbreon. Fuck, I hate fighting Umbreon though. Frankly, I actually kind of want to set up a Toxic, just because I hate fighting Umbreon so much. I mentioned last time, this is like one of my least favorite Pokemon to fight of all time. I don't even care. Wait, why didn't that work? Hmm, that was weird. Now you are a dark type. Um, pure dark type. Ugh, do I want to go to Sasha? You have superpower. I'm not I didn't show that, but she actually learned that off screen. Also, this is a really cool looking Pokemon. Like <laughs> Yeah, let's use superpower. Wow, okay, maybe I should have set up Stealth Rocks. Hopefully it won't hurt me too much. Vilakar, okay, bad matchup, let's move out. Do I have a single ground move? I think you have one. Yeah, dig. Although I gotta heal you first. This thing doesn't get a fighting or a ground move, so I think I might have a turn to actually use a fall restore. Oh! Oh, I guess they can't buy them. I did buy a bunch of hyper potions, though. Yeah, that's what I that's what I meant to say. That's neutral, that's fine. That did over half, that's a problem. Okay, worst case scenario, you switch out to a flying type, which I'm not sure you have. Alright. You know, how fast is Sasha? I actually have not checked. Oh, whoops! I want to check your summary. Well, hopefully you're faster. Because you could probably one-shot me otherwise. Oh, you're using a max potion. Okay. I still have Mock Punch, so if this barely kills, I might still be able to pull out a win here. So I have no idea which of these two is faster. Okay, good. I managed to one-shot him anyway. Man, I don't like the drops um, Superpower gives you. I far prefer close combat. Lucha Pro Oh, this thing's a problem. Um, okay. It's like... It might know it. Hmm. I'm mainly going to Laser Beam in order to stall it. It might know Earthquake or something, but I think um, I might be able to live at least one hit. I use this. It's probably the best I got. That's not doing much. Yep. And I lower speed too. That might actually help. Perfect. That's not going to heal the paralysis. It looks like max damage, uh, max damage right there, and I think it went for mock punch because it went before me. Oh, I wish I had a priority move, but. Oh, he's just wasting all his max potions now, that's good. I maybe live like two or three more of those.
Oh, looks like he's out of potions. That's good, that means he won't use any more. Very nice. Arbok. Um, what do I have for Arbok? I'll try Marina. Also, there's a good chance that this thing might Mega Evolve knowing this game. I think this is his last Pokemon. Yeah, that's not a factor. Oh, Marina actually learned something uh, new off screen. Uh, she learned Earth Power. So I replaced, um. I replaced, uh. Yep, there we go. I replaced uh, Power Stone with it. Totally! <laughs> that's cool! <laughs> Oh, that's a neat combo. Intimidate and then Petrify. That's kind of cool, actually, though you're faster than me normally anyway, so. Okay, that's a two-hit kill. Alright, nice. You have looked into the darkness and overcame your fear. Congratulations. I must admit I'm impressed. The blessing of Iotis and Meotis are upon you now. His fierce power and her serene clar uh, clarity will, be will guide you. As an emblem of their love, you have earned this badge. Nice. As a result of their blessing, all Pokemon will obey you even when traded. You also deserve this TM. Solar Be- I don't really have many uses for that, unfortunately. Solar Beam is a powerful move based around the, on absorbing the sun energy to overcome your foes. Use it wisely and it'll help you greatly in the journey. And also this one, after all, you defeated both of us. That That's also not too useful. <laughs> With this move, you, um, you will be able to use your foes' anger against them. Use it wisely um, should create opportunities for you in battle. Nice. Okay, cool. Oh, um, as of this recording, I actually have beaten Sun and Moon, and one of my team members actually used, um, Taunt. It actually worked out quite well. Uh, the team I beat that game with, in case anyone is wondering, I also posted this on Twitter, but it's, um, it's Amolga, Bastiodon, Pangoro, Golisopod, Delmize, and Miltank. So that's the super weird team I beat, um, Sun and Moon with. Also, I can't move. Oh, calling Professor Bamboo. Aim dog, uh, here, hey there. So it's true. You just got your eighth, your eighth badge. You managed to defeat Ka um, Kaido and H Hinata. Wow, that's incredible. Of course, I knew you could do it. From that day, you left my lab with your starter at your side. I thought to myself, that kid is really something special. And wouldn't you know it, I was right. You've gone above and beyond everybody's expectations. You and Theo both. So what's next to you? Well, I think that's pretty clear. The championship awaits. Looks like they're still holding the um, holding it this year, despite the nuclear Pokemon. I guess they aren't letting a, a little environmental disaster get in their way. Between you and Theo, those other competitors don't stand a chance. Huh? Me? I've been hard at work trying to find a cure for nuclear Pokemon, but since we still don't know what's causing the meltdowns, it's going it's slow going. I'm sure we'll get a breakthrough soon, though. Oh, sorry. I've got an incoming call. Just let me hang up on them. It's from Ranger HQ in Beale Beach. They must be. They must. Um. This must be something very urgent. I'll call you back later. Okay. Huh? What's going on? Oh, the horn again. Is the village under attack? I'm scared. Please remain calm. There have been potential threats. For your safety, we are evacuating everybody to a safer house for the time being. Citizens of Tsukunami Village, please come with me. Now wait just a second, what is this about a threat? I'm not going anywhere until I know what's going on. We have reason to believe that there will be a soon be an attack on the nuclear power plant to the east, similar to the attacks in West Tandor. Now if you'll come with me... What? Why would somebody attack a power plant? Yeah, and how's, um... How do you lot know- Oh, it's had time. Something, um, something's mighty fishy for it to me. Enough. You know, I never noticed this before, but they look like Golden Sun characters, don't they? 
ceased your chatter at once. The sacred leaders themselves, this must be serious. Listen to the rangers, you must follow them to the safe house immediately. At once, your majesty. What about that white ninja? <laughs> Apologies, the people of Tsukunami are not accustomed to taking orders from outsiders. They uh, listened only to the divine word of the gods. For many years we have defended ourselves from threats, however we are not prepared for dangers such as this one. Please tell us, what have your, you rangers discovered? We have, a we have a clue as to what is causing the power plant meltdowns. Apparently somebody or something has been causing them on purpose. Our tip told us that they uh, were to move in, in, and are heading to power plant Omnicron because, of the last remaining because it's the last remaining plant in Tandor. We know, we know what happened uh, to Vinaville Town. Something that is capable of such destruction. This is not the will of the gods, therefore we must fight. It will take the armies of Tsukunami at your service. Good, we'll need strong capable trainers to help battle the nuclear Pokemon. Already. Um, already. They, they, um, they are gather gathering in greater numbers to on our island. I have heard of these corrupt Pokemon. The gods cannot allow this corruption to spread further. I'll gladly lay down my life for the sake of the clan. This is our oath. We are at your service, O great leaders. Make haste to the eastern power plant. We shall defend Tsukunami with the power of the gods on our side. Fly swiftly, my Pokemon. Oh, hey, fly. <laughs> I haven't seen that one yet, actually. They're a bit kooky in the village, aren't they? So, Game Dog, are you coming to the power plant too? Kellen is heading there as we speak. He'll be looking for you for when he arrives. Plus, we could use another strong trainer like you to help us battle against the nuclear Pokemon. So, are you coming? Uh, can I heal first? It's probably the healer there. I knew we could count on you. Either, ever since you saved me uh, from that nuclear tankoon at Beale Beach, I knew you were a hero, just like your father. Here, let me heal your po. Oh, thank you. Okay. You should take care of. Uh, you should take uh, the chance to stock up on some more battle supplies from the mart before we head out. Just let me know when you're ready to go. But hurry, there's no time to waste. I actually already did that. So what I think I could do. Um, I'm gonna leave it off here, but first I'd like to show you, uh, something I actually caught off-screen while I was leveling up. Now, I'm gonna say, when I was grinding, I ran to not one, not two, but three shiny Pokémon, including a shiny, um, Swabone, but honestly, I, I, like, my current Swabone was, like, level 58, and I didn't really want to grind another one up, so I just kind of skipped it. Uh, the second was that, like, Coconut Crab Monster, which I accidentally killed, and the third, which I managed to did actually catch, was uh, this shiny Float Soul, which is kind of cool. I named him Waka, because he always reminds me of, um... Bleasel and Float Soul have always reminded me of, um, of Waka from Final Fantasy. Like, <laughs> they both have pointy orange hair and have to do with, like, water sports. Like, it's it's ridiculous how common, how much they have in common. <laughs> uh, regardless, though, let's see. I think I'm going to save here, and then, um, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.